Alright, John, I'm back. I had to digress. <laughs> had a little bit dead. So, oh, it's funny. Time I start this video. 1101. 111. What's not actually 1101? It's. Oh, yes, it is. It is. Dang. Did the time change again? Time must have changed again. I never changed my, my house clocks or nothing because it always changes back. And I like to be early to things instead of on time, right on time. Uh, hold on. So, 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 so. Got something pretty cool, right? So, you know, it's talking to the Lord, you know, thanking him for everything he's doing, right? Everything he's about to do, right? Blessings coming in. And I was praying to him, asking him, uh, you know, Lord, give me something I can encourage your people with, okay? And he gave me the oddest thing, right? But when I read it, it, it made so much sense. Now, I've read this plenty of times before in the past, but I never got this revelation, okay? Remember in the Bible, or oh, in Ezekiel, when, uh, when it's describing... The creatures in heaven, right? With the four faces and, the, and all that. Check this out. Check this out. Tell me who this sounds like, okay? Ezekiel 9. Or, well, Ezekiel 1. 9 through 13. I told y'all we are angels on earth, literally, okay? Remember that. Remember when I was asking y'all, did y'all ever, or like growing up, did y'all ever feel like just the irritant of something, of either your batch, your batch, <laughs> either your back itching or like tingling on your back where like say wings would be or something? That's a real thing. That's a real thing. Check it. Woo! Ezekiel 1 and start at 9. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. They went every one straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man and the face of a lion on the right side and they and they four had the face of an ox on the left side they four also had the face of an eagle thus were their faces and their wings were stretched upward two wings of every one were joined one to another and two covered their bodies And they went every one straight forward, whither the spirit was to go. They went, and they turned not when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire. Sorry, y'all. I think I just gotta turn it down. Okay. And they went. Everyone straight forward, whither the spirit was to go. They went and they turned not when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire and like the appearance of lamps. It went up and down among the living creatures. And the fire was bright and out of the fire went forth lightning. Let me read the next one too. 
and the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Tell me why that's describing this. Tell me why that's describing this. Did y'all did y'all hear it? Did y'all did y'all catch it? And yes, this is this is describing real creatures in heaven, but we are made in the likeness and the image of God. Okay, okay, check it. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me point out. They four had the face of a man, okay? That's obvious, right? 5.55 on my timer. It says about the wings, right? We are earth angels, okay? The elect, God's elect angels. Earth angels. Face of a man. The face of a lion. Boldness. No fear. The face of an ox. What do they use oxes for? What did they use oxes for back in the day? For farming. For plowing the land. So the farmer can plant seed. You following me? The face of an eagle. You will mount up on the wings of eagles. Mm, 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 mm. Thus were their faces and their wings were stretched upward. <laughs> Praise God. Two wings of every one were joined one to another, and two covered their faces. And their wings were stretched upward to wings of every one were joined one to another, and two covered their bodies. That's what, six wings? Two to praise the Lord. Two to fly with and two to cover us. Ain't that something? <laughs> Ain't that something? And they went to everyone straight forward, not looking to the left, not looking to the right, or going to the left or right, and not going back. They moved straight forward. Whether the Spirit was to go, they went. Being led by the Spirit of God. <laughs> and they turned not when they went. They turned not when they went. Mm, mm, mm. One, one, one again. Eleven, ten on my uh, 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 stove. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire. And the Bible said we will shine like the stars of heaven. And which we are, which we do, the light of the Holy Spirit within us, our countenance. It's so bright that it blinds, it blinds darkness and it attracts people. It attracts them like a moth to a flame. And like the appearance of lamps, goes to what I just said, and it went up and down among the living creatures the light, the fire, okay? And the fire was bright. And out of the fire went forth lightning.
God is so cold, man. God is so cold. Y'all, y'all know what I, y'all know what I mean when I say cold. It's, it's a, it's a hood terminology. <laughs> In this case, it's a, it's a black thing. Okay, you know, I ain't getting all, you know. But I mean, y'all know what I mean. It was cold. God is cold. Smooth. Perfect. Everything just fits together. Like a puzzle piece. Mm, 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 mm. This is what they wanted to steal from us. This is what they hated about us. You can't buy. You cannot. This. You cannot. 11.01 on my time. Come on, come through. You cannot buy. The likeness. The. The. Holy Spirit. Let's just say that. You cannot buy the Holy Spirit. You cannot buy God's protection. You cannot buy anything pertaining to the Most High God. Jesus always, uh, Jesus already paid for everything for us with his blood. That is the currency. But at the same time, it is a gift. It is a gift. Yes, the servant is not greater than the master. So if Jesus went through literal hell on earth, then who are we? Right? Who are we? Praise God. Who are we? Okay. I love God so much. I love God so much, man. And I know y'all do too, man. Mm, mm, mm. Let me read this because the Holy Spirit is leading me to read this right now. I just looked down at it and it's like, here, read that. Ezekiel 2. And two. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. And I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I sent thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. Talking about the enemy here. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. I believe this is a message for them, and they are watching. Thus saith the Lord God. And they, whether they will hear or what or whether they will forbear, ignore. For they are a rebellious house. Yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. Ooh! 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 Shut up, Dandereshita, Boto, Dandereshita. What? What? Let me read it again. What? And they. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. For they are a rebellious house. Yet shall know whether they listen or whether they ignore. Yet they shall know. And I'm getting the feeling that they shall be without excuse. That there hath been a prophet among them. And thou son of man, be not afraid of them. Neither be afraid of their words. Though briars and thorns be with thee. And thou dost dwell among scorpions. 
Some of the people I dealt with was actual Scorpios too. <laughs> I can attest to that. <laughs> Mine was. <laughs> I used to stare at that thing. All, 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 all I used to stare at it too. Like, ooh, you, you, you poisonous. You, you woo. <laughs> Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a most rebellious, for they are most rebellious. But thou, son of man, Hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me. And lo, a roll of a book was therein. And he spread it before me. And it was written within and without. And there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. I didn't even plan on reading that when I got up here. Holy Spirit just took my eyes to it and said, read it. If that ain't the cherry on the, on the ice cream sundae, if that is not the, the, the bang after going out, if that is not the bang, this just described everything, the whole process. That's how we're at the. We done graduated, y'all. That 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 mess is over with. That mess is over with. It ain't for everybody. It's for those who are in the season. That mess is over with. I perceive, right? I'm perceiving right now. Okay. That the Holy Spirit having me read this. Yes, yeah, thank, okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit having me read this part right here. It's like the signature at the end of a contract. Right? On to turning the page. The page is being turned. The page is being turned. You have to worry about those 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 same attacks anymore. You gotta worry about those those Witchcrafts anymore. It's destroyed. Those same demons anymore. They're destroyed. They're subdued. Now they're dealing with them. All on their, all on their lonesome. Now since they didn't complete their tasks, those demons are going to destroy them. Every single day. Every single night. Every second of their lives. And yes, they put us through literal hell. But you better believe that they're feeling 10 times, if not more, worse and more hurt and more devastated and more shocked than we ever will feel. Why? Because they have to live with it every day of their lives. They were living with torture and torment every day of their lives already. That's why when you said something to an asking question, what's going on, what's going on, they were always silent. They always had nothing to say. Because they were being tormented on the inside. From the secret things that they were doing. Mm. Talk about some poetic justice. Talk about some poetic justice. When they thought they were doing you bad. Trying to destroy you. They were destroying themselves the whole time. The whole time. The whole time. I, I, I promise my breath is in. <laughs> the whole time. Giving your giving yourself pieces of yourself to everybody you come in contact with. Picking up these extra spirits from all these other people. Just piling them on, piling them on. For we are legion. 
but we are many. Remember the guy in the cage that was cutting himself? Remember that guy that Jesus delivered? And he sent the legion of demons into the swine and they ran off the cliff into the sea. They're running off the cliff into the sea. No, it ain't nothing to celebrate. That's not what I'm doing. Not at all. Okay. I'll never lose the love I have for people. Never. Never. Believe me, I've tried. Can't do it. But there's no sympathy there. There's none. Why? Because they have the same 24 hours in a day that we have. Shout out to Steph. Now, for most of us, they wouldn't dare try to hoover us again. They wouldn't dare. They wouldn't dare. Because they know that we know. That we know. That we know. All of their little tricks and schemes. We know everything that they've done behind closed doors. And the things that we don't know yet, it's not time for us to know them yet. But I better believe, best believe that the Lord will reveal them to us. Okay? It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be the next day. Remember, you're healing every day. You're healing every day. Okay? The same stuff I was crying about yesterday when I was talking to y'all when we walked to the store. I had a little cry session on the way back. Because it hurt. It hurt. When somebody plays with your heart. When there was no, not even a speck of love or appreciation or care for you ever, 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 ever. Yeah, that hurts when you think about it and it pisses you off very, very much so. But you know what, today I'm way better than I was yesterday, which proves the healing that God is doing in us every single day. As a matter of fact, every second, every second, Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For those of you out there who are not in this necessarily in this season yet, suicide is not the answer. Okay, it's not. It's not. And I know. I bind that spirit of suicide by the power of the Holy Spirit and destroy it. By the fire of the Holy Spirit and cast it out from them back into the pits of hell from which it came in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach I plead the blood of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over every person that are having thoughts of suicide self-mutilation self-harm and I plead the blood of Jesus from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. As well as the full body armor of God. The helmet of salvation. To block out any intrusion of the enemy. The breastplate of righteousness which is of Christ Jesus. The belt of truth. The shield of faith to block out every fiery dart and arrow of the enemy. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God and the feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will live and not die. You will live to declare the works of the Lord. The enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. But I, I have come that they may have life and that more abundantly, says the Lord of the post. You will live and not die, okay? You will live and not die. It is not time for you to go anywhere. Anywhere, okay? Know that. Know that. It's leaving you right now. It's leaving. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Mm, confirmation. You hear, the, you hear the bird? It's gone, beloved. It's gone. 
Guess they prayed up, beloved. Guess they prayed up at all time. Holy Spirit saying, do not slack. Okay, pray without ceasing, all right? So what the enemy tries to do, he tries to wear you down. So you can't speak and you can't pray. Or you feel too tired to pray. But we have a helper, the Holy Spirit. Who intercedes for us. And not only that, which that is everything right there. But not only that, beloved, your mind. Just because you can't open your mouth and speak, call out to Jesus in your mind. That's all you got to do is say, Jesus, 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 over and over. He will come. He will answer. He will show up in your situation. Weeping. Weeping, thank you, Holy Spirit. Weeping may endure for a night, beloved, but joy cometh in the morning. Joy cometh in the morning. I know you might not want to hear that right now. I know you want, I know you're in pain. I know you're in pain. Pain like you've never felt before. But it's not, it's not unto death. It's not unto death. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's unto life. It's unto life and that more abundantly. If, if It's a lesson, beloved. It's a lesson. Learn the lesson. Just hold on every day. Hold on. Every day. Just hold on. Get through the day. Right? Don't think. Don't be stressing yourself out with future things. And most certainly... You already got to try to block out the past things, right? But whatever season, whatever part of that season you're in, beloved, God is going to hold you through it. And he is going to get you through it. You will overcome. Why? Because you're an overcomer in Christ Jesus. When God is for you, who and what can be against you? Nothing and no one. No work, no weapon. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No weapon formed against you shall prosper ever in the mighty name of Jesus. Ever. Yeah, they, they, they might form. They're going to form, but they will not prosper over you. They will not overtake you. They won't. It's a promise. Excuse me. It's a promise. Okay? Oh, believe me, I've been in the, oh, so many times before I've been where you are. A lot of us have. More, more than once. That's how you know it's God getting us through this. Because just one time, it's enough. Oh, boy. But sometimes it's not. We have to learn. We have to learn these things. And God is protecting us. This is why he allows certain things to happen, right? It's for his glory. It's for our betterment. This is to protect us in the future where he's taking us because there's going to be more people like this, okay? There's going to be more wicked, evildoers like this. And you'll have the thick skin to deal with them. You'll have the mental fortitude to deal with them. You'll have the arsenal Knowing how to war with your hands. And what I mean by that is fight in the spirit. You'll know how to better deal with these things, right? So, beloved, whatever whatever channels you need to watch, okay? That, that the Holy Spirit leads you to, do that. Spend time. Because this is a, we're a community. We are a community. We are the body of Christ. We are... A community. Hi, Lord. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. The Lord is right here. <laughs> we are a community, beloved. Okay? We're here for each other. Whenever, it doesn't matter what, if it's the middle of the night, 
okay? One of us, if not all of us, are going to get up because we're going to feel you tugging on our on, on the same heart that we share. Why? Because we are the body of Christ. We all have the same heart. We can feel, we can feel you just like you can feel us. You might not be able to tell the difference right now, but you'll get there. We will be here. We're always here. All right. Of course, first take it, go to the Lord, right? Of course, go run to the Lord, right? But he's going to lead you to, he's going to lead you to your other brothers and sisters, right? So suicide is never it, never. And whenever the enemy tries to make that spirit come upon you, you rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. You rebuke it and cast it out from you. And that goes along with, that goes for everything, every other thing that is not of God. That tries to uh, uh, acknowledge its, uh, uh, what is it, Holy Spirit? What is it, what is it? It tries to exalt itself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It tries to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. You pull down those strongholds. The word of God is mighty for the pulling down of strongholds. Okay? Love you, beloved. All right? We love you, beloved. You're not alone. You're not here by yourself. All right? <laughs> All right. Shake it off. All right? All right. We love you. All of us. We love you. Believe that. And more importantly, God loves you. Know that. All right? All right? All right. Love you.